reading plan. Plastic waste is a global issue with an estimated 8 tonnes of plastic being dumped in the ocean yearly. This is why crucial new technologies have been developed to remove it. The process of viable fermentation and bioremediation use microorganisms to degrade plastic. They produce specific enzymes which allow for polluting waste to be removed in a safe manner. Enzymes are proteins which are needed for reactions to occur, like the breaking of bonds between different molecules found in plastics. Without enzymes, bioaugmentation and bioremediation could never work, as microorganisms rely on enzymes to break up substances. Enzymes are specialised in specific roles due to their different shapes. The shape of an enzyme is determined by a specific sequence of amino acids. These are simple organic molecules which form the basis of all proteins. Inside the cytoplasm cell, the amino acid chain is folded to create an enzyme with a specific active site. The active site is to position on these enzymes where substances bind to in order to be broken down. Enzymes for degradation functions biological synthesis by cutting the plastic polymers or many single molecules units joined together into monomers, single molecules. This is known as hydrolysis. The enzymes used to degrade plastic are released by specific types of fungi and bacteria onto the waste. These enzymes hydrolyze the bonds between monomers in the plastic, which can be slow processed to break down the plastic. This specific use of enzymes has yet to be implemented on a global scale due to the early stages of advancement. When the technology becomes economically viable, the use of enzymes in bioaugmentation and bioremediation has the potential to reduce our waste.